transition to my next question. So we have talked about um, product R&D, population health, regulatory pathways. Now we go to clinical pathways. Uh, Christoph, um, how can real-world evidence be used in clinical settings already today? How can real-world evidence and real-world data help better understand patient pathways? And especially, I would be interested in the convergence of outpatient care, uh, especially in a chronic disease age, and then inpatient care um, in the hospital. Well, I want to start with another observation because mm -hmm. I think we, we have already used the real-world evidence data to perform guidance recommendations with regard to the COVID, booster, uh, the COVID vaccinations, for instance, with the JADOX AstraZeneca vaccine, where we just saw that there is a very low but a risk of autoimmune thrombosis and therefore D preferred this advice for younger female patients to get vaccinated with that vaccine. So I think we, we have a demonstration that it works in practice, but the problem is at the moment we need lots of resources to extract all those data from the clinical data storages. So in, in an ideal world, what I would love to have is like a clinical data warehouse mm -hmm. where we can just store all information objects with regard of use for the clinicians, but also for using them for research. And I think this is what you addressed, but there's lots of work to be done onwards because interoperability, it's not just about the data, it's also about the healthcare processes, the daily work of the physicians, the nurses. And this is one of the hugest challenges in my view at the moment, which we see with regards to um, vaccine certification, test certification. I mean, really, we are still using PDF documents mm -hmm. that are like not very robust to um, allow our patients to seek for their testing results. But meanwhile, we have it in digital systems already stored in a deep uh, in a um, infrastructure and I think we need to work hard on this to not only focus on either research or clinical care we need to combine this because otherwise the efficacy will be very low and this is also answering the second part of your question I mean with those different care sectors that we used to have in Germany it is entirely challenging and I think the NHS is much or is having much lower barriers to offer um, holistic care concepts for COVID patients at the moment to offer outpatient care, inpatient care. With us, we are not allowed to offer outpatient care at the moment, and therefore we have no, no idea about the data, neither the real world nor the patient data of our patients until they come to our emergency department and seek for help. But how can we prevent those patients from coming to the hospital, even nowadays, where the ICU capacity is already limited, the overall hospital capacity is already limited, and I think there is lots of work to be done with regard to that. And honestly, I think the very complicated healthcare system in Germany is the major cause why we are not coming to digital transformation, because the processes are horrible complicated. Mm -hmm.